It's a fantastic film. Bill, thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, I was saying to the others, my background is uh, my mother's from a mining family in Ashington of eight. Oh, wow. So it resonates particularly oh, for me. So oh, good. I'm glad you've seen it. Yeah, <laughs> so how close is the film that we see to your original ideas or your original draft? Oh, no, it's very, very close, you know, because I'm, I'm very fortunate to work with Ken and, you know, I think we've done 14 films together. So it's not just... I mean, I write, he directs, but we meet in the middle as filmmakers. And then there's a process after the script is done to try and do the casting, you know, find the locations, and we do all that together. You know, so it's a very kind of organic process. And, and even as we're moving on through the film, sometimes we chop and change things. So there's no surprises, and it's, and it's done in consultation, and, and then there's a great spirit of collaboration. And they were saying that they don't get the script until pretty much the day before that they're going to do their scenes. Is that to keep the reactions fresh? Or? Yes, it does. And um, it depends on the scene. It's a very complex scene. It's a very you know, detailed scene. They'll get it a couple of days in advance. If it's just um, you know, a simpler scene and it's easy to remember, they'll get it. But the, the important thing is they shoot in sequence. And so they can live the story. You know? And um, even, the, even the, the very best of the actors, the, you know, best known actors, I don't mean best of the actors, very well known actors have loved that. You know, Peter Mullen and, you know, really experienced people like Killian Murphy or Bobby Carlyle. But it's also great for people like Dave, you know, who's not had a great deal of experience. But they live it, you know, in sequence. And even the professional actors, you know, have told us how much they have loved that. And it's brilliant for, I mean, and people like Dave who have not acted, but they're real actors. They've, yeah. they've, they've put on a fantastic performance, so I don't want to see a, a hierarchy at all. And I don't mean that. But they all, they all really appreciate it, and it's, it's just easier to deliver it. You're more in touch with your emotions and your instinct. And um, there's a saying that goes around that if voting changed anything, they'd ban it, and we're almost there in some respects. How difficult it is, is it to get a film that puts across a message like this actually made and funded? Uh -huh. Well, to be honest, I don't like the word message because I think a story should be more complex than that. But I understand what you mean. Um, I mean, I hope a story will have many nuances, it'll have many shades. I don't see this as good and bad. What we're trying to do is untangle very complex realities. In those mining communities, they've been devastated. You know, they've lost agency in, in their lives. The state has pulled back. There's no post office, no bank, the swimming pool. You know, the library have all closed down. So, you know, even their houses, their one asset, that's massively dropped. Local authorities down south send up families, you know, and they dump people who have, you know, lost souls themselves sometimes. And so the people who live there feel dumped upon. Then asylum seekers have come in without consultation. So you understand why people are angry. So the thing is to unpick this and try and understand it. And then we've got to understand the, the people who have come from war, who have fled the war, maybe climate change. And, they, and in these communities, we always meet credible people who hold out the hand of solidarity to their rivals, but also want to understand their host communities. And there's great creativity and empathy to try and figure it all out. So we see lots of layers in this story. And I think they've done it really, really beautifully. I think they have indeed. Congratulations Thank again. You very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.